minus 44 amps inside. Yeah, guys, welcome back to the off-grid garage here in sunny, hot Australia. We are doing another discharge test, not on purpose, but I needed to charge the car anyway. And um, well, the battery was down to about 30% this morning. I said, well, this is actually good. I just want to see how the battery reacts now after our initial uh, top balancing at 3.65 volts we did two weeks ago. Because I have not balanced the cells at all since then. I turned off all the balancing, disconnected the active balancer and just used the battery. Charging, discharging, charging, discharging for the last two weeks. And now we are down to ooh, 13%. All right, let's have a look at the BMS here. Uh, discharging with 46 amps. And we have a deviation of 41, 42 millivolt at the moment. 3.114 is number six. It's our weakest. It's not too bad. The um, BMS claims here we've got uh, 27.5 ampere hours left. Let's have a look in the Victron Smart Shunt and see how much it has calculated. 244 taken out of the battery so far. Makes uh, zwei im Sinn, drei, vier. 36 ampere hours missing in the smart shunt and 24 missing here in the BMS. So, and um, potentially I will discharge the battery to about 2.8, 2.7 volts. If cell number six is reaching 2.7, 2.8 volts, then I call it. Um, I will go that low today because we are discharging with 50 amps. So it's a fairly high discharge current for this battery. <laughs> and um, well, we just go a little bit lower just to see how it reacts. Uh, you can see we are at 55 millivolt deviation. It's increasing now. And number six is definitely our weakest cell. 20 ampere hours left, it says. Noise. So we are now at 3.1 volts. But um, this is under load. Don't forget, this is under load, under relative heavy load. I'm uh, discharging with 2.5 kilowatts at the moment. So as soon as I would take away the load, now the voltage would rise again. So we are not really at 3.1 volts. This is under load. All right, I would say uh, give it a few more minutes and then we have another look what's going on. Yeah, you can see zero watts coming in from the outside. I have turned off both solar charge controllers. Um, otherwise it takes too long because it gets constantly recharged from the solar then. I just want to lower the voltage in the battery now and see how it reacts at the bottom after this initial top balancing. Well, we've got perfect weather again, light clouds. And I guess we will have another 55 amps outside today once I turn the back on. We are just just close to this shadow there. If we go over here. Yeah, we probably another 15 minutes or so and then we should see full power here on this west side of the roof already. And I hope I have finished the test until then so I can take full advantage of the solar. But yeah, so far still on 30, still on 3.5, now still on 3.05 volts, 305, geez, almost 100 millivolt deviation now, 12%. I'm just checking the BMS here and we've got an under voltage set to 2.5 volts here. So this is when the BMS turns off actually, and then 2.7, it turns back on again with a 20 second delay and the over ah, here under voltage pack is at 42.4 that sounds very low 42.5 oh no 42.4 divided by 16 ah 2.65 okay yeah we probably can set this one here to 40 we will never reach this anyway because one of the cells will be lower than 2.5 volts before on the BMS turns off anyway then. 
Okay, let's have a look. Uh, now I changed the settings and it jumped back to 50 ampere hours. See that? 17%. Uh, this always happens when I change the parameters and then it calibrates new. So we should see this one dropping here very quickly now. The low state of charge warning is coming on at 11% now. Yep, there it is as well. That is all good. And we are at 49.65 volts. See, it's dropping. Is it dropping? No, actually not. And there's the low voltage warning as well from the smart shunt. 11% still. 49.6. Okay, we got back in the BMS. Okay, cell number 6 now, 2.9. We are dropping fast now. Still discharging with 46 amps, so that's perfect. I wanted to see the smart shunt is claiming or is claiming here that is um, 29 ampere hours missing. 29 ampere hours, this is roughly 10%, right? No, 11. <laughs> it must be 11, but we will never be able to discharge that. Cell number 6 will turn off before. But now we can see single cells 6, 7 and 8 is lower than everything else. You can see the different colors in there. And 160 millivolt deviation now. Still discharging with 46 amps. Ah, the irrigation pump just kicked in. 65 amps. We are discharging at, uh, well, under 9% we are, 2.87, cell number 6, 250 millivolt deviation. Is it not turning off in anymore? 2.85, still okay, still okay. It should turn off every second. Come on, come on, turn off. Ah, it turns off again. But the voltage is not rising by much. Okay, let's check the VRM. Because this is the only place where I can get a comma number of my state of charge, actually. 9.1 we have. Quick look at the smart shunt here. Ah, eight warnings. Nice. Uh, 24 ampere hours left until 280 yeah we will definitely not make that this is 2.8 2.8 it will be definitely cell number six which is low see now with an active balancer the balancer would not be able to balance this cell out now the discharge current is far too high even if it would shuffle like five or six amps into the cell number six now we are still discharging number six with 40 amps so there's no way to balance that out. All right, we are coming close to 2.8. Still discharging with almost 50 amps. Noise, it's pretty good. See, now it has catched up. 2.5 ampere hours left, it says, remaining. All right, 2.8, I think we call it now. Turn off the charging, stop charging. Oop. And now voltage is low, slowly rising again. So 23 ampere hours are missing. And this is probably, well, this is close to 10% now. This is probably everything you should take out of these batteries. We are talking about the DOD of 90%, of over 90% now. Yeah, That is like 92% of the capacity usable in this battery now totally fine totally fine and you always will have as one or two or three or four cells which are lower than the other ones they will never be the same all right i think we should go into the solar charge controllers again and turn them on right get some juice into these batteries here oh look at this it's waiting 100 volts Battery enable charger. 
Okay, the same for the east roof. And now we should see here on the left hand side the charging kicking in at any moment. Enable charger. Alrighty. There we go, 128 coming in. Can have a look in the west roof again. This should go fairly. Uh, it's just around the corner now. So at 11 o'clock, from 11 to 1 o'clock, I've got almost full sunshine now here on the garage and it's charging with 2.5 kilowatts all the time, constantly, permanently. Perfect. All right, guys, I think so far this video from today, a very quick video, short videos. Yep, hashtag shorts. I really just wanted to um, lower the voltage or the state of charge in the battery and see what's going on but I'm fairly pleased with the results so far. Even we have 300 millivolt deviation, we have discharged the battery over 90%. So that is totally fine. I wouldn't go any lower anyway. It would probably take another 10, 15 minutes or so and then we would hit the 2.5 for this battery and, and the BMS would shut off again. We don't want to risk that, right? And the other thing I wanted to test is was the warnings and disconnects of the inverter. Um, well, we're getting heaps of warnings because we are low voltage, low state of charge, but nothing actually turns off at this point, which is really good. A warning is fine to let me know, hey, you are really low with your state of charge or your voltage, something is not right, have a look. But it shouldn't turn anything off in your normal operation, you know, and this is still normal operation. Extreme low, but still normal operation. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel, for all your donations, of course. Thank you very much. Philip, our guy in the UK, is visiting his family at the moment. He will be back in, I think, two or three days. And then we will get in contact with him and see how the charging situation is at his place there. And then we will have a chat with him. And I also have another surprise for him and probably for you. All right. Until then, guys, stay charged, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you then. Bye bye. Wait, wait, wait. Before you go, we are now, well, this is now half an hour later, roughly, at 12% state of charge. So 3% charged into the battery already. And um, looking at the BMS here, deviation is at 77 millivolt. Back on track, I would say. That is so amazing, right? We discharged all the way down and now we are recharging and everything comes back together. They are all being friends again. All 16 cells. Amazing. Mm -hmm.